Hello again, Internet, and welcome to another episode of Insane Ian Taste Test Things, because it's a thing I do on camera now. I'm really excited this week, uh, because uh, the Lay's Duas of Flavor chips for this year have been released, and I've managed to find them and get them, and I'm going to try them for you, so that you don't have to deal with this. The new flavors this year are Crispy Taco, Crispy taco flavor, fried green tomato, and everything bagel with cream cheese. And these come in different varieties too. The crispy taco is the regular Lay's chip, the gr fried green tomato is the wavy chip, and the, uh, the everything bagel is the kettle cooked one. So let's go with the regular chip version, but not a regular flavor. Crispy Taco. Suggested by Ellen Serum from San Antonio, Texas. My fiance loves crunchy beef tacos more than anything. I actually made it for one of our first dates, and after three years, I can now finally say that I've mastered cooking his favorite dish. And now that you've mastered cooking that, Lay's turned it into potato chip, thereby rendering you completely useless. That's not true. That's a horrible thing for me to say, but. Uh, they made chips because of your suggestion. So, good on you, Alan. Let's try these. That is not a great smell. That is, uh, that is something, all right. So there are definitely an abundance of flavor flakes all over these chips. There's quite a lot. And, and for some reason, in the bag, they look a lot redder than they do outside of the bag, but uh, yeah, that's a that is a chip with flavoring on it. Let's see how much this tastes like a crispy taco. The answer is not much. Tastes like a chip. There's a little bit of seasoning on it. Not really a whole lot of taco flavoring that I'm getting. Let's try another. I'm getting a little hint of cheese. A little bit of a uh, tomato. I guess there's kind of a little bit of a beef flavor to it. The chip, may, I guess, would be the, the crispy taco shell. I'm getting like tiny, tiny hints of the different toppings that you would have on a taco. Let's see, crispy taco seasoning, salt, spice, maltodextrin, made from corn, onion powder, tomato powder, natural flavor, garlic powder, sugar, yeast extract, cheddar cheese, sour cream, buttermilk. Yeah, okay. So that's a little bit of cheese, a little tomato, sour cream, no, uh, I guess a little lettuce flavoring. There's green specks on here. Taco seasoning. It kind of tastes like one. Not bad. Not overpowering. Nothing that would, like, send you into a, oh, that's that's unusual. I don't like that. No, it's, it's decent. All right. First one, not bad. Next, wavy fried green tomatoes. This was suggested by Greg Pope of Charlotte, North Carolina. Fried green tomatoes remind me of my childhood in Georgia fried to a golden brown, salted, and peppered. They were always the perfect feel-good food prepped by my dad for our family dinners. Prepped. All right, Greg. Fried green tomato seasoning, which is buttermilk, salt, maltodextrin again, sugar, dextrose, tomato powder, canola oil, natural flavors, onion powder, brown sugar, spices, yeast extract, garlic powder, sunflower oil, caramel color, paprika, mustard, vinegar, paprika extracts, and actia gum. Wow. Right on. These look uh, wavy and a little darker. So they're gonna be uh, fried green tomato flavored wavy chips. Let's try these. Yeah, I'm getting a tomato scent off of that. And they're golden brown, the caramel coloring. Well, these are, these smell really good. Uh, if you've ever had fried green tomatoes. And also I'll say Lay's doing, doing semi-decent on the air to chip ratio in the bags. Not terrible. Those look pretty good. Those look pretty tasty. Get a healthy chip here. See the flavor flakes. Flavor flakes. On that one. See how this goes. I'm not getting a, a really strong flavor off of this one either. Could it be that my senses have been dulled from doing these videos already? <laughs> I hope not because that would be kind of disturbing. But still, not getting anything really strong off of this. It's a little bit of an aftertaste. Give me a little 
sensory of seasoning in the back of my throat, but nothing like I can taste. It's just kind of like, hey, here's a tingle for you. Meh. They're decent chips, but I'm not getting a whole lot of flavor off of them. Almost a little heat. I guess that might be the paprika, which is not really like a spicy thing, but you know, not really expecting it on a chip. These are decent, kind of like the taco ones better, but these are decent. That was two. Now finally, the kettle cooked. Everything bagel with cream cheese. Okay. This one was sent in by Lindsay Hoffman of Palm City, Florida. There's no better way to start your day than with an everything bagel with cream cheese. It's become my favorite morning ritual. You have less to say about your flavor than the other two people did. You just, you just like everything bagels with cream cheese. And the one lady makes them for her husband and you know, now they've made chips of it. And the other guy, it's a, it's a family recipe, it's a family dish, his dad used to do it, and family gatherings. And this is just like, I like bagels and I buy them in the morning and they're good. I, sure. This is uh, everything bagel and cream cheese seasoning, which is maltodextrin, cream cheese, salt, poppy seed, onion powder, garlic powder, and natural flavors. Sure. I like that they keep naming the seasonings for all of these after the flavor, and then they describe what's in the seasoning. Thankfully, they describe what's in the th seasoning. Let's give this one a crack. Crack a bag. Now, I don't know what I was expecting. I don't really get a bagel smell. I don't get a chip cream cheese smell. They're definitely kettle cooked, because kettle cooked chips get that curl on them. Not a whole lot of flavor flakes on those, but uh, not, not bad. Seems more salty than anything. Let's give it a go. Everything bagel with cream cheese. I definitely taste the cream cheese. I don't particularly get an everything bagel flavor from it, because an everything bagel is everything. Not getting like a poppy seed or overly powering onions flavor or anything like that, but these are not bad either. These are the ones that have, I think, probably the most distinct flavors because I can definitely taste the cream cheese. Or the cream cheese flavoring. There's actually clearly not cream cheese on these. That would be odd. Gee, this bag is wet. Oh my god. That would be terrible. But these, these aren't. They're, they're not bad. Again, not a whole lot of flavor flakes on them. They're really dark flakes. I guess they, those are like an approximation of a poppy seed or something. Or some kind of seed. An everything bagel seed. Sure. Yeah, they're not bad. Out of the three of them, I think I kind of like the crispy taco ones the best. But all three flavors this year aren't terrible. They're, they're actually pretty good. But again, the flavors on these are kind of mild comparatively to the chips that they've had in the past. And some of the chips that I've had even on this, uh, this thing I do. Whatever. So, not bad. Not great. Definitely a unique flavor. And definitely something you can try if you like, if you can find them. I went to a couple different places to try to find these. That's it for this week. If you enjoy this video, you can support me on Patreon, where I release these videos early. And if you subscribe, you can help me make more videos. Not just taste test videos, but also music videos and other things that I do here on this channel. Please like and subscribe. If you want to check out any of the previous episodes, you can check them out here. Thanks a lot, and we'll see you next time. Mm -hmm. Yeah. <laughs>